नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इंडिया वाज डिवाइडेड ऑन रिलीजियस बेसिस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड बांग्लादेश इज प्योरली ऑन द रिलीजियस बेसिस नाउ दिस सी ए ए ए केस इज इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज नॉट स्टेड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सी ए ए टॉप कोर्ट आस्क सेंटर टू रेस्पॉन्ड टू पैटिशन इन थ्री वीक्स अंडर दिस सी ए ए माइग्रेंट्स फ्रॉम Hindu Sikh Buddhist Jain Parsi or Christian communities from Bangladesh Pakistan and Afghanistan who are fleeing religious persecution can seek citizenship the supreme court on tuesday afternoon refused to stay implementation of the citizenship amendment act or caa The court also gave the government 3 weeks till April 8 to respond to 237 petitions challenging the law that was notified last week days before the Lok Sabha election. In addition the petitioners were given leave to approach if citizenship is granted to any individual before that date. senior lawyers kapil sibal and indra jay singh both made that request as solicitor general tushar mehta appearing for government said i am not making any statement mr mehta had originally sought four weeks time to respond to the petitioners we will have to file a detailed affidavit on merits to 237 petitions 20 interim applications are already filed and many are in the pipeline realistically we need four weeks he told the court <coughs> the matter was heard by <coughs> chief justice dy chandrachud justice jv pardiwala and justice manoj misra The petitioners included the Indian Union Muslim League, a Kerala-based political party, and also opposition leader Jay Jay Ram Ramesh and the Congress and Mawa Mautra of the Trinamool. The next hearing in this case has been set for April 9. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar, my dear. Watch this video, please. sought centers response to a bunch of these seeking a stay on the citizenship amendment act rules that were notified recently on the 11th of march and has fixed the next hearing on the 9th of april in the meantime there is no stay on the grant of citizenship even as some of petitioners pressed for it I have my colleague Sunil Prabhu joining us with more details on this. Uh, Sunil, one of the criticism of the CAA rules was that uh, Citizenship Amendment Act is still in the realm of judicial review and that there are petitions against it. But of course, the Home Minister had uh, rebutted that. Now today, what is the significance of the Supreme Court not actually putting a stay on the implementation of the Act? well i think uh, really there were a lot of uh, housekeeping issues that uh, the Ch uh, chief justice of india wanted to first address it started off with the uh, solicitor general of india uh, saying that you know there are so many petitions we need at least 4 weeks of time uh, to address those concerns and reply to the notices uh, that led to a barrage uh, from the petitioners the lawyers uh, who kept uh, saying that you know we want to stay Uh, there are two separate issues one is the stay in terms of the amendments to the caa uh, and the uh, rules that have come about there's also the assam order which has to be looked separately the chief justice and his entire bench looking at that uh, earlier order relating to assam <coughs> and it's in that context uh, that the chief justice of india then finally deciding after hearing the petitioners uh, to uh, uh, list the matter on the 9th of april 
directing the parties to by the 2nd of April uh, to submit uh, their documents so that the uh, court can go into this entire issue. Uh, some of the petitioners even argued that they should go to a larger bench. Uh, in the meantime, uh, they wanted, of course, a stay on not granting citizenship. The Chief Justice of India made it clear that at the district, at the, uh, 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 at the central level, they have to put committees. They don't have that infrastructure in place, so they can't grant. Uh, but uh, Mr. Kapil Sibyl said, uh, grant us to liberty in case they do give citizenship, because once you give citizenship to somebody, it will create a problem and you can't revoke it. So he said we will be definitely at liberty to move the court in this context. Uh, this, of course, after some petitioners try to say uh, that, you know, uh, Muslims uh, would be, uh, you know, targeted in, in the case of the uh, uh, CA relating to uh, Assam, and at which point uh, no less than the Solicitor General of India making it absolutely clear uh, that uh, there will be no discrimination uh, on, on the basis of religion, and this is uh, nothing to do with NRC, this is only to do with CA and its implementation of the rules. For joining us with those details, Supreme Court has asked Centre uh, for a reply within three.